Hi guys, it's um, it's Marcus here. So I had to do a presentation at uh, Interconnect, and um, what I wanted to do is demonstrate and mash up IoT data with location data in real time. So I created a little uh, mobile web app, which basically takes your mobile sensor or mobile phone sensor data and sends it to IoTF or the Watson IoT platform. I wanted the audience to participate in this demo. I wanted to show the audience sensor data on a floor plan in real time. And I wanted to display changes and move chain movements uh, in real time on that floor plan. E.g. You, you check your phone or you, you move around. So here what I Here's a demo setup. So I basically give everybody an audience a URL. They plug in the URL in their phone or mobile device. It shoots MQTT messages to the Watson IoT platform. And then I take the data and display um, the icons on the floor plan. And uh, there's a node red behind the scenes for orchestration. And uh, let me show you how that works. So. So here we are in Las Vegas. So this is uh, the conference center B site in the Mandalay Bay. And what I'm gonna do is, is basically for demo purposes, say I have one user which is fixed the speaker, so he can actually guide the audience a bit. So if you here's my icon, so you can see if I move this guy around, uh, he is moving. Um, you see, if I change the, the dial here, that the dial will change there on that icon as well. And uh, if I change the orientation of the phone, the icon tilts. So you can do this obviously with multiple devices. So uh, So here's another device. So we're gonna call this Windows. Let's see where it is, it's right there. You can click on the map, you get the statistics of the thing. So if I move this guy over here, you see the same deal. So I can do this also with my phone. You plug in the phone for this LG. So once we connect it, we get an icon here, and again, I can move this icon around. And if I move the phone, you can see that my little Android guy is moving. And if I jump, then he should jump too. So the other thing I wanted to do is, in addition to to this, I also wanted to give the speaker some ability to um, enable stuff on the phone. So as a speaker, I can click uh, uh, and enable some buttons. And in this case, I enable some voting buttons. So now the audience could vote. So in this case, I could vote on on, you know, give it a maybe, and you see that uh, the icon changes and the speaker can do the same thing, or I can do a yes, here I can do a no, Let's see, yeah, also a no, and then you can get the statistics of the voting right here after it updated. So that was my little demos and that worked pretty well for like 35 people. Um, quite amazing. Okay, so here are the URLs and the information about the setup. You can try it yourself. Um, you can find more information here. I put the code up in the GitHub. And if you have any questions, please tweet me, send me an email or leave a comment, uh, don't mind, and uh, I try to get back to you. I hope you enjoy it.